Let's go. Let's go. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're examining our picks for the most controversial storylines in Coronation Street history that caused a mountain of complaints and made the soap opera viewers turn off the TV. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Acid Attack In 2023, the Cobbles were set to celebrate the marriage between Daisley Midgley and Daniel Osborne. However, just before the wedding dress wearing Daisy left the Rover's return, her stalker, Justin Rutherford, appeared. Consumed by jealousy, he then throws liquid towards Daisy. Nobody's gonna want you after this. However, Ryan Connor blocked most of the attempt, although some did strike Daisy's chest. As it turns out, the liquid was acid. Daisy did her best to help Ryan, even getting him into a shower, but the damage was done. Within days of the episode airing, 72 viewers sent official complaints to Ofcom that compared the attack to a horror film and believed the scene was too dark. I'm arresting you with suspicion Daisy. of causing grievous bodily harm with intent and for breaking the conditions of bail. Release the fictional character. It's not every soap opera story that causes the Prime Minister to comment on it, but 1998 was a strange time. Back then, Deirdre Barlow was sent to prison for fraud on Coronation Street. I sentence you to 18 months imprisonment. She had given money to her partner, John Lindsay, who turned out to be a scam artist. The audience was livid at the injustice. It sparked the Free the Weatherfield One campaign, which tabloid newspapers jumped upon. Then-PM Tony Blair stated he would get then-Home Secretary Jack Straw to look into the case. Have you anything to say? I didn't do any of it. Not to miss out on the publicity, then Tory party leader William Hague claimed the whole nation is deeply concerned about Deirdre, conservatives as much as everyone else. Deirdre was released a few months later. Psycho Stubbs. Touch me and I'll have you locked up! I've had enough of you. Charlie Stubbs was one of the biggest villains in Weatherfield this century. After all, he abused Shelley Unwin during their relationship. But after that ended, Charlie hooked up with Tracy Barlow and later began an affair with Maria Sutherland. And when David Platt found out and tried to blackmail him in 2006, Charlie's rage came out. Do you want bubbles? What are you doing? I'm going to wash your dirty little mouth out. After luring David to Maria's flat, Charlie tied up the then teenager, asked him ridiculous questions he couldn't possibly answer, and then dumped his head into a bathtub of water for long periods. <laughs> My mum always used to count to three. <laughs> Please. Before things could get fatal, Maria got home. 31 viewers raised complaints to Ofcom on the pre-watershed abuse. However, the Office of Communications deemed no rules were broken. Racist assault. Must have made some friends there by now. Oh, yeah. No, um, I have. In 2022, Coronation Street launched the grooming of Max Turner by a racist gang led by Griff Reynolds story. As the racism began to get worse and Max became radicalised, making his own content and defending people with terrible opinions, many viewers were uncomfortable with the story. So much so that 139 complaints were issued to Ofcom. But then, in 2023, extremist Blake Myers turned up at the refugee drop-in centre, supposedly inspired by Max's racist views. <laughs> While Max tried to stop what happened, Blake attempted to attack Maria, only to stab Alia Nazir instead. 72 viewers contacted Ofcom about the vicious scene. Max Turner, I'm arresting you on suspicion of incitement to attempted murder. What? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questions something which you later to line in court. Bethany's ordeal. Nathan was spot on when he said what it's off. In the late 2010s, the cobbles got really dark with its stories. One tale after another seemingly pushed the boundaries. In 2017, Nathan Curtis's horrific relationship with teenager Bethany Platt scarred many viewers. This monster was part of a gang that groomed girls to exploit them for money. At one point, Bethany was taken into a bedroom by three men, implying a horrible situation was to occur. Hey, work your magic. 
While Ofcom received 24 complaints over this pre-watershed scene, social media was rife with people declaring their intent to stop watching. Those who stuck it out did get to see Nathan and his gang eventually get sentenced to prison for their terrible crimes against Bethany, Shauna Ramsey and many others. Casual racism. Oh, good morning. In 2016, 473 viewers reported a Coronation Street scene to Ofcom for its racial insensitivity. The moment in question is when Ava Price was at the salon. She commented that she had more roots than Kunta Kinte before mentioning that she didn't even know what that meant as it was something her mother would see. Oh yeah, look, I've got more roots than Kunta Kinte. No idea who that is, by the way, it's something my mum used to say. Kunta Kinte is one of the main characters in the 1976 civil rights book, Roots, the Saga of an American Family. It involves Kunta being enslaved in the Gambia and abducted to the US to be horribly mistreated. Understandably, viewers were livid. Ofcom investigated the incident and deemed no action was to be taken with the soap, as the comment reflected the foolishness of the character. Shock Value Demise The LGBT community isn't always well represented on TV and film. So, when Coronation Street was set to have Rana Habib and Kate Connor tie the knot in 2019, it was to be a celebrated moment. After all, Rana had clashed with her homophobic Muslim parents. But then, she was a victim of Underworld's roof collapsing. In her wedding dress, Rana was trapped. <laughs> she eventually perished as the debris shifted, causing fatal injuries. Fans were furious, as it appeared as though the soap had taken the life of an LGBTQIA person for a cheap attempt at providing shock value. On top of the 236 complaints to Ofcom, the hashtag Boycott Cory was heavily used on social media. <laughs> Het meal. That's me. Dinner's ready. If there's one thing we Brits can agree on, you can't harm a person's pet, fictional or real. And in 2020, Coronation Street did just that. As part of the intense domestic abuse storyline between Jeff Metcalf and Yasmin Nazir, he ended up cooking her a meal. Yet, when she tasted it, Jeff disclosed that it was her pet chicken, Charlotte Bronte. I thought she might be a bit dry, being an older bird. 356 people contacted Ofcom over the matter. A few months later, this story would draw the ire of fans again. Yasmin snapped after months of abuse and hit Jeff on the head with a wine bottle before using the broken fragments to stab him. It was too graphic for many, causing 276 official complaints. David's Assault In 2018, Coronation Street launched another dark story. After befriending Josh Tucker and going out for drinks with him, David Platt is drugged by him and then assaulted. Should we go to bed? Over the ensuing episodes, David self-destructs, pushing people away as he copes with processing the trauma. Eventually, he managed to talk about it, leading to Josh's sentencing in 2020. He's been sentenced to 15 years. The initial incident sparked 183 complaints from viewers who found the pre-watershed implied scene too intense. Further 31 people reported the handling of the immediate aftermath to Ofcom. The office investigated the issue, but handed out no punishment, as they believed the soap handled a tough storyline as sensitively as possible. Come on, this is good news. Pat Phelan's Purge Pat Phelan's stint on Coronation Street made him one of the best soap baddies of all time. <laughs> on top of tormenting numerous characters, many viewers have found his actions far too distasteful. In 2017, after holding Andy Carver hostage, Pat forces him to shoot Vinnie Ashford. Moments later, Pat takes Andy's life. Oh, you are a good man, Pat. And you're no murderer. You don't know me. This double slaying sparked a huge 541 complaints to Ofcom. But that's not the only time Pat has been in this situation. In 2018, he chased Luke Britton in a car after he discovered what he had done to Andy. After causing Luke to crash, Pat takes out a firearm and shoots him and the vehicle, causing an explosion. 
It was pretty OTT. This brutal scene caused 662 Ofcom complaints. What's the most controversial story in British soap operas? One of the moments mentioned in the video? Emma Dale's Ross and Charity planning to steal a dog? Or something else? Let us know below. You killed him. Yes, I killed him. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.